you know, a week or so back, um, I listened to a podcast. Well, I'm good. I must confess, I am a avid listener of Vince Russo's podcast. Um, I don't subscribe to the Realm Network, but I listen to his podcast on Podcast One. I also listen to Stone Cold Steve Austin's podcast, and I listen to Jim Ross's broad, broad, uh, podcast. I don't listen to Chris Jericho's podcast. I don't listen to um, Keeping It 100 with Conan. Um, no particular reason why. It's not that I don't hate them or anything like that, but I just don't listen to their podcasts. I just have never subscribed um, to them. But also don't subscribe to Eric Bischoff's uh, podcast, even though I think Eric Bischoff, I think the world of Eric Bischoff, and I actually directly correlate Eric Bischoff for me, why I'm still a wrestling fan to this day. Uh, I, I know that's not the cool thing to say because everybody wants to talk about Heyman and how you know Heyman did this and that and with ECW and you know nobody ever really identifies Eric Bischoff as the reason why they're wrestling fans, but. What he did with WCW re-piqued my interest during a really, really bad period in WWE. I was never huge on ECW because it was on too late. Um, I can't even remember the channel it was on, but it used to come on like at 2 in the morning around where I was. And I wasn't really picking up tapes or anything like that. And uh, So I was exposed to ECW in, in really, really small doses. Very, very small doses. And so... I was never too big on ECW. Um, I get the opportunity now to kind of look back at it and take it. And it's enjoyable television um, for what it was. But WCW was what brought me back into the fold, the NWO, the things that were going on. I mean, that run with Hollywood Hogan and Sting lasted almost a year. It was one of, uh, To me, it is probably the landmark build to a match that I've ever seen. It was the best that I've seen, but I'm digressing here. The I listened to Vince Russo's podcast, and I I almost had to pull over my car while I was driving because it was the saddest podcast I've ever heard in my life. Now I don't agree with Vince Russo on a lot of things um, politically. I don't agree with him. Um, some of the things that he says about the business, I don't agree with, but what I, I, but I do agree with him on 50% of the things. And I think he's a very intelligent person. I think he's very underrated as far as his contributions to the business. And I think that he was exactly what the WWE needed at the time. I don't think he did that horrible of a job at WCW during the first three or so months that he was there. The second three or so months that he was there, not so great. A lot of really weird things happened during that time. But I think he, he was he was also forced into that by some some pretty nefarious backstage politics from the stories that I hear. Um, but I listened to this podcast, the one right after his dog Yogi passed away. And I have to tell you, it was excruciating and I don't know if it's because I also had an experience where a, a beloved pet passed away and it just brought up this emotion to hear his voice and his love for what he considered his best friend and there was this one particular moment in that podcast where Vince Russo said that even when everyone else was being negative towards him, when they were BSing him, and he, he can always look down at that face of Yogi and I can't even I can't even quote it verbatim, but I will tell you that it stirred up so much emotion in me, and I just wanted to. I mean, Vince will probably never hear this, and 
I don't have a huge following at all. And I just started this not too long ago. But if it ever happens that Vince Russo gets the chance to hear this, I just want to say I felt your pain. And I understand what you've gone through and the, the loss of something that was so important to you. And I just want to say, you know, I hope that he always remembers Yogi. He never forgets the love that Yogi gave him. And that, you know, our hearts are with him. Because we know it's just a dog and all this other stuff. And, you know, but anyone who's had a dog or had some, just anything that was that important and they lost it, you know, they understand that pain and they don't wish it on anybody. So I don't care who, what title Vince Russo put on David Arquette. I don't care that he quote unquote killed WCW. I don't care about any of that stuff because behind all that there is a human being who loved his best friend. And at the end of the day, it we're all human beings that love something. Even if it's just ourselves, we love something. And to lose it is heartbreaking. So my prayers are with you always, Vince. And even if the world doesn't tell you, you are appreciated by some of us. And I wish you the best. And I'll continue listening to your show. And I hope that we never have another show like that one because I will never want to see you in that sort of pain ever again. Love you, Vince.